what's up guys welcome to my next video uh, in this video I want to talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series um, I really like these films and I think the first one is really really like my favorite one but the rest you know they're uh, I don't know they're like guilty pleasures yes you can say um, there's some they're okay but there's some they're good um, they're they're not that bad um, but the first one it's always the best so I'm just gonna go through them and show you the covers and talk about them really quick and so yeah so the first one I'm gonna show off is the original um, Takes and Chance of Massacre and I met Gunnar Hansen um, at Rest in Peace um, he was a nice guy he, he you know he signed my movie he signed my poster and he signed my figure the little face figure and he was re really nice about it uh, he really liked it so he just continued um, you know uh, signing so so yeah this is actually the first uh, uh, special edition DVD that came out so uh, there's another one before with a different cover art but this one you know just like an uh, like a special edition which it says right here and it just shows the chainsaw uh, here's the back I'm gonna show the disc here it is the disc art and here's the booklet it's an awesome way this this is a great film I love this film it's great to watch on Halloween it's great to you know um, it's just a great film you know every that was a, a, a based on a true story which how they promoted it but it wasn't so but you know it takes you know it's kind of like the Ed Gein but she was a real life serial killer and some other ones and some you know um, so yeah so the first one Oops, and I'm really having trouble getting this together. And it just fall anywhere. There we go. Uh, and another. Uh, well, I'm gonna put them right here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. There you go. And there's uh, another special edition. So uh, it's a steel case, a steel box. And I met um, Marlene Burns, uh, who played Sally. He. Uh, I know he personalized it, but I know she ain't supposed to do that, or I ain't supposed to do that. But you know, I'm gonna keep it for me. I'm not gonna sell it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna keep it with me as long as I can. So here's the cover. Here's the back. And Marlene Bird is really a sweet person. I mean, rest in peace as well. She was a great person to me. She was so sweet. And here is the discards. A great film. Never gets old. And I got a third edition of it. Uh, I know this one's kind of going, uh, it's getting a little bit pricey online. So when I got it, I got it for 10 bucks. And this movie, it's, I just like this cover. I mean, I'm a big fan of this film. It's the 40th anniversary edition. Here's the cover, and here's the back. I love that film, I love that part. The way it first shows up. And I got it in the cheap price, so why not just get it? Just a little booklet here. And here's the discard and just the back, which I like the still on this. There we go. It's actually a good uh, picture. I love that part when she just walks through the towards the house. I mean, the way they did the camera angle on that film. I mean, especially in that day, in those days, in the 70s, it just you know, it's really great. It still holds up to today. You know, I mean, this house um, looks so beautiful looking. It looks normal, and you could see, you could hear like the. The generator outside and it's really hot you can feel the atmosphere and it, it, it makes it so realistic and that's why I love this film there you go I'm gonna put this aside here so it can continue and it takes a chance on Massacre 2 with Dennis Hopper rest in peace as well uh, I met uh, Caroline Williams who plays Stretch in this film she signed this for me as well I met her as well and I love this cover. I love the original cover and the VHSs, but you know this one's cool because you know there's there's Dennis Hopper and you know Tussell. But I love that picture. It's just an awesome film. I thought this movie was pretty cool. I mean, I saw it when I was little when I kept renting it, and this movie it just it's all sticks with me as a childhood. It is awesome. Another edition of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 uh, has a little card in front, but I'm not gonna take it out because I like the picture. And the picture is just like the chainsaw and, and the leg. So this one, I just want to keep it on. 
And the documentary on this is really good. Uh, there's behind the scenes and everything like that. They talk really good things about uh, Jason, uh, Dennis Hopper. And when I caught, when I was talking to Caroline Williams about him, uh, I like I asked her how was it like to work with him. He said he was just a fantastic actor, really great. Um, so it's good to hear that with her. You know, like she said that in her own words. And yeah, we're both big fans of his work. So you know, I liked him in Speed. He was a, a bomber. So. Great actor, remember rest in peace, uh, Dennis Hopper, but this movie is, is always great. Underrated, but really good. And another underrated film is uh, Leatherface that takes a chance on Massacre 3. This movie I actually like. I like the, the, the discard on this. I'm sorry, the, the cover art. This movie, I love that picture. I mean, it's red and, you know, it's you see his face, really long hair. Um, I mean, that looks awesome, man. It's just, with the long hair, it's really cool and it's really, really, really awesome. And here's the back. Viggo Mortensen also comes out. He came for you. He came on Dawn of the Dead. Also is here. So my wife saw this and she thought this movie was pretty good. My, with my in-laws. And it was the first time they saw it. So they actually got surprised. And they actually enjoyed it. So it's good to introduce them to this film. Why not? Great film. Uh, underrated, but great. Uh, this is the worst one. Takes a chance on Massacre the Next Generation. And this film was horrible but Matthew McConaughey my, I'm sorry Matthew McConaughey was actually good in this film me playing a psychopath look at that face look at that his eyes awesome but little face sucks but the guy who played him passed away so I had to give him respect my rest in peace I mean he, he did what he could uh, he tried so hard to make it great but but you know the movie well you know the movie wasn't that great but you know I, saw, I see it our first song in VHS and I got a DVD just to complete it here's the picture it's just crazy look at that it's a crazy film the Renee Zoker um, the remake that takes a chance on massacre uh, remake I think it was uh, I forgot what year 2005 I think it, it was uh, um, great film as well when Arlie Ermy comes out. I like the Leatherface look. I met the actor as well. Um, great guy. He was actually drinking a beer when I saw him in a Comic Con. Great guy, man. He was so. Man, this guy, was, he was crazy. <laughs> and uh, and there you go. There's the discard. And I also met the, man, the Leatherface on uh, who did uh, part two. So he was good too. I met him in the same day. He was right next to him, sitting down. I met him first and I met him from the remake and they were both great. I took pictures with him. Great guys. And the Texas Chainsaw, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. I actually like this film. This movie is bloody. It is bloodier than the remake. This is actually a prequel to the remake and unrated. And this movie I actually like. It's the same guy that I met that played Leatherface in this. I actually like this film. I know people are going to disagree, but this movie it was actually great. I love the killing scenes in this. It's really gory. I just I love this. I just like it. I saw it in the theaters and I just walked. I just looked at it like, wow, with a smile. There is a discard. Good film. You haven't seen it? Check it out. Another underrated. Uh, under, underrated. But this one, um, it takes a chance. Of, uh, it's actually 3D, but... Uh, the actor who did, did the face, he did okay. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of this film that much, but you know, it had some good moments, like he's chasing the girl in the uh, through the carnival. That's actually a good scene. But the timing on this film is just stupid. I mean, it takes place right after the first one, um, 1970 something. I forget the, the complete thing, but this one. And then uh, the girl, I forgot her name. This one right here. Um, it's the, the you know when this happened in the first film she was a baby and then i mean like 40 years later or 50 years later she's young i mean it's supposed to be her older but she's like 20 years old so the timing that time was just horrible uh the timeline or whatever you want to call but the movie all in all it's it's all right not great but it's okay and the last one is Leatherface. Uh, this is actually the prequel to the original, how Leatherface became Leatherface. Um, this movie was all right, not the not the greatest, not the best. It's just one of those uh, guilty pleasures. I mean, Steven Dorff did a good job in this film. Uh, it couldn't have been better, but you can't get what you get. I mean, look at that, keeps the legend alive. Well, this movie, 
could have done better. Way, way, way better. I heard, I heard they're making a new one, um, a remake of the original again. So I hope it's gonna be good. So, so there it is. That is the complete collection that I have. Takes and Chainsaw Massacre. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do another horror uh, franchise video. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to do this one. I have quite a few, uh, you know, movies. I have a lot of editions. Three editions of the first one and two editions of the second one. So why not just throw them off? And so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. See you guys uh, next video and stay safe. So you guys take care.